are going to do this, but let me go ahead. Is it all right? Is it, y'all, is it okay? Why is it that the Democrat Party, the Donkey Party, loves to position minorities in a place where they lord over us and keep us subservient to their system? The only system that's truly harming and endangering minorities in this country is the Democrat Party. That's right. The truth has been discovered. And when you dare to speak up, they will try to whip you. Recently, Barack Obama was talking to black men in a condescending tone and manner. Why? Because we are not with her. I don't have to call her name. You know what I'm talking about. I want to be the first to tell you tonight, I'm not with her. Nor do I do identity politics. In order to get my vote, you have to do more than so-called sort of kind of be black. Sometimes Indian, sometimes Jamaican, sometimes faking, sometimes bacon. You have to do more than that. That's a low bar to say that because of your pigmentation, you should get my vote. I want to know what your values are and how you want to protect this nation and keep criminal, illegal aliens from coming into our country. That's right. to save and protect black babies in the womb than the NAACP, the National Black Caucus, and the Black Lives Matters movement combined. It's true. It's true. Now, if you get mad, send the letter to me. Go to my website, iknowgod.us. Don't send it to Pastor, send it to me. I said it. Here's why. From 2010 all the way up to 2021, our church at that time had adopted a local abortion clinic and we're still working there. We call that abortion clinic Satan's Porch. It's a place where babies go to be sacrificed to a God called Molech. It happened in biblical times and it's happening today. Yeah, that using the baby for that. to that abortion meal, Oftentimes, nearly 70 to 80% of the people outside trying to save the babies were white. But nearly 70 to 80% of the babies who were being aborted in the clinic were black. But I'm supposed to believe that America is a racist nation. See, when you work and you do ministry, Some of these lies that are being propagated upon us, they become dissolved because you see the reality. And see, when Roe v. Wade was overturned, what did the NAACP have to say about that? I'll tell you. They said, oh, they said something. I'll tell you what they said. They said, this is going to harm black female women. It's going to harm them and put them in a bad position. And now they're not going to be able to make it because they can't kill their babies. See, the people who claim that to be, you know, anti-racist, when they take these pro-abortion positions, they fail to realize that the most racist thing that you can do 
is to support Planned Parenthood. That's right. See, Margaret Sanger, Margaret Sanger said that she did not want the word to get out, that she wanted to exterminate the Negro population. And she said that the black charismatic preacher would be the one that she would use if it ever occurred to any of the more rebellious Negroes. And I quote, she wrote that uh, to Dr. Clarence C.J. Gamble in 1939. And so people who support the pro-choice and the pro-abortion movement, they don't understand that they are propagating racism. And the people who are killed the most at these abortion meals are the people who look like her. It's the people who look like Obama. It's the people who look like Jesse Jackson. It's the people who look like Reverend Al Sharpton. Don't get shy. Clap your hands. Come on. It's the people that look like them. They are dying the most. But then people who don't support that political party, we're called garbage. We're called Nazis, white supremacists, anarchists, all of these different terms simply because we want to protect the baby in the womb. And this is my message for the church all across this nation. Who do you agree with? Do you agree with the culture or do you agree with the God of the Bible? Amen. Amazing. Amen. Who do you agree with? Do you not know that billions of dollars are being spent to convince the American population to support reproductive justice? Do you know that every time a baby dies, that's a concept of a life that God desired to exist, but it's now removed? Oh. Who do we think we are as a nation to take these positions and then still call ourselves Christians? Amen. You cannot be a Christian and support laws that are directly opposed to the scripture. 